Day two of Japan. Day two of Abisu. We're gonna be here forever. <laughs> and I'm so excited about it. Day two here in Japan and day two at Ebisu. Like we're straight to it. We're down north course right now. Uh, we were planning on not drifting the first like couple days. We had this whole plan and then we got here and we're just like, oh my God, we gotta drift. Like <laughs> it's really hard to be here with your car at these tracks and not just wanna hop right in it. So today it's wet and rainy, which is great because basically it's free tires. Oh my God, this place is so beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. Ohio. You ready? So, where are we starting off at? We are starting starting off at School Course. Okay, so we didn't drive this much last time we were here. So this is School Course, and as you can tell, it's basically just a giant skid pad, which I guess School Course is a great name for because it's meant to, well, learn. You're not really stuck with the constraints of a track. Like at North, there's a lot of danger zones. So here, it's kind of like an open School Course. So, Grant wants to drive it, so we're going to drive it. See what happens. What is happening? No way. No way. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, no way. You can see Minami from here. They cleared all of this out. No way. That is so crazy. Right there is the famous jump, right? there it's crazy they turn it into like a rally lot you see how it's all gravel now this is probably like the most iconic track ever a couple years ago they tore it up and made it into like a gravel track for the rally guys since i guess it's just more popular or who knows the politics behind it but jesus this looks like a video game map right here you ready to go to school grant i'm the fucking teacher baby <laughs> Let's go uh, play on school course. It's definitely not as cool as like one of the uh, actual courses, but it's a good way to warm up and we still gotta get used to these damn cars because we didn't really drive them too much yesterday. Woo, it's wet. <laughs> feels good though, the car feels good right now. JZX is best. Let me get my windows up. Honestly, like drifting in the rain helps you get used to a car really quick because you really start to feel the steering out. Damn, Grant's move. Oh! the fact that I have dead tires from yesterday but dude drifting in the rain it really helps you get used to a car again because you have to be delicate and you and it really makes you learn your uh your steering yeah and like, these cars are not easy to drive in the rain no but what's good too because we made this point um before where at home we have to drive our cars so aggressive yep. they want to be thrown they want to be pushed they want to be hammered on where these you have to be delicate with them or they fight back right yeah, oh yeah they'll fight you so driving in the rain kind of tricks your brain back into being delicate with the car because if you're not delicate in the rain then you're yeah you're all over the place you're throwing your hands around you look like you're swatting bees in the car <laughs> not good. it's good though it's good though i'll take it see my rag jimmy yeah that's a good rag let me see this is the essence of ebisu you do whatever you have to do with whatever you got yep and then i put it back into my trunk liner so. <laughs> beautiful beautiful it's gonna hit me i already know it Grant! He's hitting me! <laughs> <laughs> 
like when someone gaps your immediate brain is just like dive on them dive on them but you can't do aggressive moves in the rain or actually makes you slower you know what i mean like you can't let the car fall at an angle you got to be really timid and uh i can't see anything oh that's sick <laughs> trick I have to try and keep up with them but that's good I learned a lot more that way focusing on giving Grant the best lead run I could do just nice and throw through the corners he's running away from me a little bit in the corners so I yelled at him to get off the uh get off the throttle get off the loud pedal no 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 you're just doing you're doing the race line I know but that's because we're used to competing so we're back to wherever we had to turn our competition face off we yeah. all we've been doing all year is competing Dude, but, and I don't even like competition but some reason little LZ just makes us compete all over the, all over the place. <laughs> well, let me first. Just, Good thing I washed this thing. Yeah, this thing's look at how filthy this thing is. Alright, well Did you the, tell me what time it was? It's it's 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> it's still dead. Um, but the best thing ever is when you're on a course like this and then all of a sudden this pulls up. A red spec R. This is like my dream I, I have a lot of dream cars. Um <laughs> but yellow and red S15s are like my spirit animals and to see a original and to see a red one and it looks like an original aero car spec r in the wild just drifting is wild this is such an expensive look at that front it has a real aero bar that front bumper is like it's like four grand five grand but the thing is he's probably had this car for one point this car was probably worth five grand you know what i mean like ugh, that is so good Dude, I, I wanna, oh my God. All right, this angle might suck or it might be cool. We're gonna find out. I wasn't trying to be a try hard. I just had to transition. Yeah, there's this thumbnail. <laughs> uh, just to keep up with this car, I had to transition very aggressively. And to be fair, we, we didn't hit that hard. It's just, that's a, oh. Automatic. It is a. This thing is made out of paper mache. Oh my God. You look at this car the wrong way and this happens. It looked very dramatic. <laughs> uh, you're right. She'll be all right. Now well, there she begins. To be fair, my car is way too clean. Did you see the left side of it recently? Yeah, you can, I, I can feel it. Yeah, there's a couple more there. Yeah. Oh, you see it. One, two, three, five, five new marks. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it doesn't leave a tire mark. Oh, it just, shit. It just, I didn't even notice that. Look at all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good target. Great target. Good target. Thanks, Jim. My car is way too clean. I need to get some scuffs on it, so I stop caring. First, first casualty right here. Should be all right. All right, well we had lunch and now it's dry out, so we're gonna drive uh, north now. We drove it yesterday to start the uh, trip, but uh, now we gotta get cozy again. This entry is so intimidating, like especially for the like first time of the day. Oh geez, oh there's so many pine needles. You 
have to throw so much angle on the entry and it's like you think you're throwing a lot but it needs it it's like really hard to convince your brain that it needs it so hard my poor car with that one we're getting cozy quick i'm proud of us first big laps on north course it's funny because it's actually quite a far drive to fill the car up but like i don't even mind it because it is just so beautiful just driving around in these things like You come over the hill, right? And you see all the t old Team Orange cars, right? The little, the little taxis. And then you come by PV, and you see all of these drift spec S15s, S13s, like all these drift spec cars. And you just get, you never get sick of looking at it. It's so good. S14. Oh my god. <laughs> it's probably still super fun to drive. I wouldn't even mind having an S14 that looked like that as long as it drove good. So we got a few laps in this morning. We had a little rain tandems. That was a great way to kind of like get used to the chassis and steering in. And then we got a couple dry runs on north. And uh, we were having some issues with our cars, but we still managed to piece together pretty a couple like I'll say really good B plus tandems. They were great. Don't undersell yourself. I think they were we, great runs. They were great, right? So now it's moving on to the substance here, right? Moving on from drifting. So we're here at Ebisu where there is JZX 100s. As far as the eyes can see. As far as the eye can see. And well, I figured I wanted to have fun and make the car stick out a little bit more and just add that little touch to my JZX. And well, that's the title of this video probably. Installing a custom livery on oh. my Japanese drift car. Oh my god! Ha, ba, 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 ha, ba. Be sick. It's it's right. be sick. Come on, man. No, I was giving you a clickbait title, bro. Yeah, thanks, man. All right, Grant, Grant's changing his front tires because, well. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you know where that chunk is, right? Where? In my door. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> oh, that's good. Shout out one word, baby. Shout out one word. Let me see him. Let me see him. Hold on. Stay step. Stop moving, bro. Put him by your face. There we go. Team one word. The couple laps at North, really, oh my poor front end. Uh, look at this. This is how bad it was up there. Oh my God. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, it's even worse over here. Oh my God. Welcome to Japan. Unfortunately, it rained, so my car is disgusting. So, Let's go, get this, let's go get this thing a wash, because I think there's like 
power washers up top that we could pay for. We're gonna find out. Yeah, this thing is <laughs> now totaled with pine needles. Oh, there we go. What's the likelihood that any of these work? All right. Uh, I'll figure it out. It might look clean on camera, but I don't think I anticipated the power washer to to not have the word power in it. <laughs> it was kind of just like a stream of water, so. Ugh. The car is still so filthy. Whatever, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna add a wash bucket and supplies to the next Ebisu trip because that's that ain't that ain't working. Thank God for the boys down at Sidex. We got a power washer and some soap, so. I'm just gonna skip to the magic part. Here we go. I mean, well, this side looks beautiful. I'm not worried about this side. It's it's good. This side's good to go. It's kind of crazy how on camera this thing literally looks like a 10 out of 10. The hard part is I have all these tire marks where my livery goes thanks to this guy. I should be help. You should be helping me clean these things off. Sorry, man. <laughs> so I found WD-40. I hope now, this usually works. So. Uh, last time LZ had some like really good. What was that from? Uh, uh, G Technic. Was it G Technic stuff? No, he's a Grios boy. Yeah. Adam brought some Grios stuff last time that got all of these marks off this side, but uh, LZ's not here to steal stuff from stuff. So. This one, this one might be tricky. I tried everything I could to get these door marks off, which they will come off. I just do not have the correct uh, supplies to remove it. I've tried every type of fluid they have in there, but I don't know how well the sticker is going to actually stick to this, but boys, we got no choice, so we're going to send it. All right, boys, so you guys know. Here, give, me the, give me that damn thing, all Jimmy. Right, so you guys know who does all my liveries, design, print, usually install, but it was expensive to import a Canadian to Japan, so. Right here is a full livery by Design Shop React. My buddy Mike Martino, he is the man. He did the Front Street liveries, uh, he did the livery on my Z, uh, and now the livery for my JZX. So I told him, don't make it too hard to install because I'm literally here in a parking lot in Japan. The car's filthy. Uh, I, don't, I don't even have a razor blade. <laughs> I don't really know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna con Grant into helping me a little bit and we're gonna, we're gonna have fun. We should be drifting right now, but it's gonna rain the next like three days, so I'm like, great. We um, gotta do it now. We gotta do it now. Let's get so. it done. You rub my back, I'll rub yours. Hell yeah. We, should we start with the clean side because it would be easier? Sure. This is the, I think this is the backward side, but whatever. Let's open this thing up and see what we have for a, li a livery. How much is this one? You! Let me open it. What? I don't have a knife to open it. Let's go in the shop. Let's see what side X has. Yeah. I told him to keep it simple. This is a pretty small packaging. We'll put it. Damaging transport. This thing was shoved in my suitcase along with many other things. Martino does a seven layer livery just to mess with us. Oh, I just wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> hey, it'll be fine. She'll yeah, be right. she'll be right. She'll be all right. Sick, dude. So, Martino does this thing where he like organizes liveries for people who really do well. Like when he printed out, when he did the one for my, I gave him like two days to do this for it. Like two days to design it, print it, cut it, and send it to me. Jesus. <laughs> So I don't think he did it for this one, but when he did the livery, he also did the livery for my E36. Oh, did he really? Yeah, and when he does it, he prints out papers with layer numbers. Of where they go. Of where they go. And he usually numbers them too, but I didn't give him enough time. So uh, we did it Japanese style, where um, the stickers are forward one way and reverse the other way. That's just like Sick. JDM style. Yep. We're in Japan, it'd be kind of weird if we didn't do that, right? So good, street. dude. Cannot miss Hell the yeah. sticker. Since the Drift Games boys have been so good to me, always, and they're my really close friends, I had to represent Drift Games. Hell yeah. I thought that was really cool. Love it. We got Drift Games in Zemeg. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Do I say that a lot? You got me saying it now. So this is like the base of the livery, right? So this is layer one. Okay. And this is gonna be like your traditional, just like. Tribal, tribal tattoo. You know, like Seikia. esque Yep. I think Seikia. Is that what it's called? Seiki Hills, I think, started the, the trial uh, 
the tribal liveries. Okay. It's a long way from here, but it's still oh, Japan. Yep. Like, I like having my, like, basic looking chaser, but it's too fun to do this, you know? I agree. Well, hopefully it's fun. This might suck. Well, it, it might not be fun to put on, but it'll be fun to look at when it's done. Facts. Sick. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. No, nah, that'll be easy. Looks like it has to be cut in half, but, uh... Oh, man. No, good thing there's scissors right there. You ready? Nope. Are you? Nope. <laughs> this is what we're working with. <laughs> Dude. Uh, Shimmy, you're all right. You're all right. Let me just set it up on the ground. Oh! So right, right, so right. Don't move, Greg. Oh, no. You can't litter. Yeah, you can't leave it like this. <laughs> Grant's holding with his mouth. <laughs> we're, going, we're doing something, Grant. I like it. Oh no! <laughs> keep it tight. I'm gonna keep walking and do it. Oh, no freaking way. I no! Think we work good under pressure. That was sick. I cannot believe we did that. So I got the transfer tape peeled. All the edges are cut. We're good. I am very, very... proud of us that is not easy the only thing I, I really messed up is on this side it's still kind of wet I did that when I did the Z I washed it too soon you have to really get the water out of like the door handles and like the gas door and stuff and the trim uh, it'll be fine so now that the stage one or the base of delivery is done now it's time to apply each sticker one by one also Mike must have used a really nice vinyl on this uh, because it was really, really easy to lay. Like usually it binds up and gets creased very easily, especially with transfer tape, but there's like no creases on this thing, which is very surprising and it stuck to the doors. Uh, not too bad, so no complaints. So now I gotta do all these stickers one by one and most people mock up all the stickers first with like painter's tape to make sure they're all kind of balance with each other, but I don't have that luxury and I lost Grant. So I'm gonna lay these one by one and hope they all come out straight and doesn't look horrendous. I'm actually, I'll probably save these for when Grant comes back because I will definitely put that on crooked by myself. Wish me luck. I think we got this. Still have to like cut all the edges around the handles and the trim and stuff, which is honestly the biggest pain in the ass part, but it is looking really good. It's crazy how like, it just completely changes your car. Like entirely, the whole vibe is so different. But I heard Grant pulling up, so I really want to see what he thinks of it. You hear him coming through the tunnel. There he is. It's getting dark. What's up, baby? It's sick, right? I'm gonna f that thing up. I know you are. I, Let me make sure I get a bunch of pictures no, before you ruin too it. Too good, dude. It hid. It actually went over the damage really it well. It kind of makes the damage look like it's supposed to be there in a weird way. Like it matches the gray on like the gray. No, yeah, yeah, face. no. It it, the the black oh, stripes. You cut that door handle out. You're a savage. The drift games. Yeah, I tried to leave it on the handle part. I love it. No, I think it looks amazing. It worked, right? Good work. Dude. Thank you. That was nice a long, job. that took a while. All right, let me take a bunch of photos before you ruin it. That's fine, deal. <laughs> Sold. That's so good, I love it. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Design shop react, baby. 
Well, I'm happy I finished one side before it got pitch black out. It is so dark out now. Like, I'm surprised the camera could even pick that up, but I love it. I'm super happy. I had an extra O sticker. We threw it on the front, and I think it's a perfect mix. It looks sick. I'm so happy. Um, for putting it on during a freaking tornado, it didn't come out too bad. Shout out to Mike from Design Shop React because he designed it in a way that it was easy to install. He used really good vinyl because, like, I just smushed that vinyl on and there is no creases on the entire thing. It is wild. So, Mike, you are the man. If you guys want your very own livery for your drift car, um, please hit Mike up. He's probably the most affordable guy out there. Um, he's so easy to work with. He's quick. And uh, he's got great style. So, Design Shop React. Um, and he's one of my good friends. So, buy from him. So. <laughs> but I'll get some more, I'll get some better shots of it tomorrow when there's more light. But for now, I am a happy camper. Good morning, boys. Next day, it's uh, bright out now so we can see the car. It's wet. The rain just stopped. It's not wet, it's actually soaked today. <laughs> the sun just came out. Actually, perfect same, timing. Jim, same. Look at not it. Not wet, I'm soaked. You're soaked. Oh my god. So good. It's nice to see it now not in the dark. It's hiding the door marks real well. Like it kind of blend in. It works, right? Yeah. Hold on, trumpets coming. Here we go, here we go. Oh, there goes the trumpets. Nice work. If you guys want to come drift Ebisu for a day, Sidex will rent you a car. Yeah, they do daily, multi-day. They do all different types of they do, uh When we got here, they started their seven-day drift school. You can come here, and it's a seven-day tour. They, they house you, they feed you, they give you cars, they teach you how to drift. Like, it's kind it's of insane, a... insane, dude. It's the coolest thing ever. It's like a, it's a good way to be able to come here and experience it without having to spend... 20 plus thousand dollars it's not an car. ad it's honestly just really cool yeah, and we, we, like we talked to a bunch of the guys in the drift school and they're all ecstatic by day three they, they said it was worth it yeah. and um, it allows you to kind of have this experience where it's without having a massive you know you don't have to be a youtuber to come out here <laughs> <laughs> no you know what i mean though uh so huge shout out to side 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 x experience that's what it is sideways so. experience sideways experience oh go. boy yeah, yeah. discount code jimmy o for 10 percent off <laughs> nope that's not it no nope. maybe <laughs> maybe maybe but we gotta ask. give it a shot i'll go ask i'll give it a shot i'll go talk to him but oh my god it looks so good jimmy thank you man you told me you were doing this and i was like what is and then you did it and i go okay it looks uh, great it's cool, it just makes it stick out. Oh, fucking trumpets. It just makes it stick out a little bit during Matsuri and stuff where it blends in and um, eh, it's just something to do, right? I love it. Yeah, no, I think it was a good move. Shout out Mike, Design Shop React. He killed it on killed the livery it. design. So good. All right, guys, we'll take it in because next time you see my car, this will, the Oaks garage on this side will probably be all gone thanks to this asshole. It'll just say Oaks. There won't be any garage left on it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, but for now, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We got a little bit of driving in yesterday. I spent way too much time doing my livery. It almost blew away in a tornado, but we made it work. If you want to check out any more, I think me and Graham are going to do an on-off day thing yeah, here. Yeah, so the first, our first day was together. I'm going to double upload. I'm going to upload again tomorrow, but then we'll be on and off, so. If you guys want to catch both of our experiences from both sides, this is basically a collab trip at this point. It's pretty cool. Uh, Go on the Grant's uh, YouTube. You guys know where it is. Instagram or what? No, it's, it's just Grant Anderson. Yeah, it's Grant Anderson. Uh, not Instagram. I'll, I'll put his YouTube in the in the bio. Thanks, but Jim. for now, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And Grant, all good night. <laughs>